Hey guys, today we're going to be doing a review of the 2011 Proto Rail. Let's start with the packaging. In the front, you have a nice picture of Proto Rail, and on the back here, you have uh, all the specs and pictures of other Proto Rails in colors. Uh, the Proto Rail I have right here is the blue version. Now it comes in a very similar to the SLG packaging, which uh, the 09, 010, 08 SLG packaging. So it's very rem reminiscent of that. And uh, it's a, like, a lot like Dangerous Powers uh, packaging. Um, it's not like the desired color that I would want the packaging to be. And it's not the, it's, uh, it's no Planet Eclipse gun case packaging, but this will fit in any duffel bag or uh, gun bag. And as when you open it up, you'll find your Proto Rail. Uh, yeah, the 2011 Proto Rail. And under that, you'll find your 11 inch barrel. And all the uh, little goodies like the barrel socks and the O rings and some Allen keys. So let's get that out of the way. And also, you'll get this really good full colored manual. And you'll get a warranty. Make sure you send out that warranty. Um, in case you're not familiar with fixing things. Uh, and it does come with some dye slick lube, which is always great. Uh, it's a full color manual. It comes with everything you need to know. If you have any questions, any problems, refer to your manual. Okay, let's get to the gun. Now, let's just go through the uh, external features of it. It features a, uh, a clamping-ish v-neck. Um, not really the lever lock, it's more of a get your Allen key in there and twist it. Um, it's made of composite, high strength composite, which um, it's, it'll work just fine. Um, I don't see it breaking anytime soon. Um, you have the bolt out back design, which is always great. You have a Hyper 3 regulator um, and a steel braided hose and a uh, some sort of coolish looking ASA, but it's non on off sadly. Um, back here, you have your uh, on and off button and your uh, eyes on and off button. This is great. Here we have the 11 inch proto barrel. Um, this has gotten a little bit of stir up about this gun, is the 11 inch barrel. Uh, a lot of people are saying, oh, it sucks because it's only 11 inches. Now, I mean, it's a pretty good barrel. It's a decent quality barrel. It's just short. That's the only problem. It's a lot like the axe barrel. The axe barrel is not bad. It's just short, and a lot of people don't like short barrels. Um, so don't let that detract from the gun. Um, so, yeah, let's get a quick look at the uh, gun with the barrel on. Like so. Now this gun is a spool valve gun, meaning there's one tube and a full bolt set. And it has the uh, Hyper 3, or no, not the Hyper 3, the uh, Ultra Light Grip. Now this isn't, this is a composite Ultra Light Grip, which it feels, it doesn't feel very good at times. Um, it does uh, it does have a rather large palm swell which could turn a few make a few people not like this gun to the palm swell some people might find it a little uncomfortable and a little big down in the lower part portion of your hands and uh, another complaint is the trigger it's not super good it's not bad it's just meh I mean it's it's a good enough trigger to where you're going to be able to get at least 13 BPS. You're, you're going to be able to get 13 BPS on this trigger. Um, trigger guard's nice. Ooh, one more thing. One thing that's awesome about this gun is, of course, with all die guns, eye pipes. With these, these will cover the eyes from dirt and debris. I just dropped the barrel, and it will cover the guys from dirt and debris, which is always nice.
Where's the barrel going? It's right here. And uh, it's a pretty all right gun. I mean, for the price, what you're getting is pretty good. I mean, it's not outstanding, but it's pretty good. It's pretty dang good for a uh, speedball. It's probably one of a really good speedball. Uh, re really good speedball gun. Really light. Yeah, this is surprisingly light, weighing in at like 1.6, 1.6 pounds. So that being the ultralight. Oh, another complaint I have is the colors, the anodizing. It's a lot like the Planet Eclipse E-Tech or Etha, where they just take one part of it and have it uh, colored, which I really don't like. I find it kind of lazy because all they have to do is just make the body and then throw the same grip, the same regular, and the same barrel that you put on all the other guns. So it's really a lazy type thing. It's kind of a gripe. But uh, yeah, it's really a really nice gun. I would recommend it to uh, anyone looking to get in speedball. So uh, that's my review. Hope you enjoyed.